Providence City Councilor Rachel Miller says she aims to tackle the affordability crisis in Providence if elected the next council president. Target 12 investigator Steph Machado sat down with her on the pulse of Providence this week to discuss her priorities for the city. Steph joins us now in studio with the details. Rachel Miller has represented Federal Hill and the West End for four years. She says 11 Democratic nominees are now supporting her bid for council president, more than enough to win the job in January if the group stays together. I am practical and pragmatic. If elected council president in January as expected, Rachel Miller says housing affordability is one of her top priorities as rents rise. I want to have that conversation with landlords and renters about what um, what's possible, right? Like, how do we get these super skywriting costs under control? That could include proposing rent control. I think a cap on um, increases annually might absolutely be part of the conversation. Mayor-elect Brett Smiley has said he opposes capping uh, rent increases. Have you two talked about that at all? Do you think that's an issue where you might disagree? We didn't talk specifically about this proposal, and again, I think uh, getting into like the nitty gritty of potential proposals is kind of jumping the gun. One plan to build more housing is inside the vacant Superman building slated to be turned into hundreds of apartments. State leaders have touted that 20% of the units will be considered affordable, but the developer recently disclosed the rents for those affordable units, mostly one bedrooms, will range from nearly $1,400 to $2,000 a month. What was your reaction to those rent prices when they came out? The rent prices were uh, high, right? I think everyone can agree and, and look at those prices and say, oh yeah, that is outside of the realm of affordability for most people in the city. Miller abstained from a recent council vote on tax breaks for the Superman development because it didn't include new reforms she helped usher in last year, but she says she's excited about the jobs and activity the project will bring to downtown. She is skeptical about the Providence Place Mall's recent request for 20 more years of tax breaks from the city, but says she wants to hear specific plans for the downtown shopping center first. It's in the center of downtown. So how are we going to use it to the benefit of the people of Providence? That's the number one question before anything else. Miller said she's interested in discussing possibly moving away from big tax break deals for developers. Miller and I also discussed additional housing proposals, public safety and more. You can watch this full episode of Pulse of Providence on WPRI.com or listen wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Steph Machado, 12 News.